Hi folks, welcome once again to part two of the little power supply build and this is where I am at the moment. Um, I've got the main transformer now um, out of the out of the bottom uh, chassis. Um, the the chassis is quite duffed up as is the the base of the the transformer. I'm going to leave the transformer until pretty much last I think as it goes back in but I'm going to try and straighten up some of the chassis I'm waiting for some super glue to come um, tomorrow um, so I can strengthen that main board um, and a couple of people in the comments have suggested I put some really thick wire um, like copper wire across the, the the actual track to kind of shore it up so I'll, I'll end up doing that probably at the end but I'm going to try and get some super glue in the in the actual board itself just to hold it flat because at the moment it's trying to hinge um, it's a 10 amp power supply so it's going to carry a reasonable amount of current so I don't want it failing so um, yeah so I'm going to give this a quick go and see if I can get this to straighten up so let me put you over to this I'm going to get rid of the this transformer I'll tell you what this transformer is very heavy It is a solid beast. Okay, so this, I'm gonna try and get these out. Now these little devils here, by the way, these these um, these screws that held the transformer in, they've actually got shellac um, in, the, in the top, or like a thread lock, green thread lock. They were incredibly difficult to get out, um, and you have to be very careful not to chew the head up. So you need a very good screwdriver. Um, they, don't, they don't like, uh, and I really recommend these Weera ones if you've ever come across those. Weera make the most amazing um, screwdrivers. As do um, Tang tools and stuff like that. I've got their socket set over there. Fabulous stuff. So let's whip that off. Now, I don't know if you can see that. Now, the temptation is to hit it. Um, but I'm not going to do that. Uh, I have a secret weapon here somewhere if I can find it. There we are. Found my secret weapon. This is a G clamp, and this is made by a company called Bessie. Well, it's actually uh, Ehoma on on here. Now, um, Bessie and Ehoma make the same clamps. They're exactly the same, um, and they are by far the best G clamps ever. Um, I've used this sort of stuff for a long, long time and they are just amazing. Um, they're actually forged, drop forged or rather than cast clamps. Really, really good. Very strong. Um, right, okay, so what I'm going to try and do, I think, is press this out. So let's try. Can't do that anyway. This might be a bit cack handed. Right, well there's, there's one bit out that's come straight out, and what we do is we'll do that one as well. You can just see it's just risen inside where the transformer's taken a very good um, kadonk. Um, just get that over the top if we can. A bit of brute force and ignorance. And straight away, there you go. You can see that's pretty flat now. You can make this as easy or as hard as you like, and I try to make this sort of stuff easy. So, now this may not go over there, no. Might not go over that way. Yeah, it will. So, this is a bit of a handful. So, I'm going to try and get him on there like so. Like I say, it's very tempting to want to hit these things with a hammer 
and to be fair that's not actually the best way of doing it um, heating things with hammers is you know it's a little bit um, overkill sometimes it's you know you're gonna have to do it um, but as you can see just with a bit of wood and a g-clamp that now is pretty pretty flat um, and I'm just looking down the actual the thing and you can sort of see how that's now not twisted um, at all so I'm, I'm pleased with that I'm going to call that one done um, it might need a little bit more on that actually it might need to go back the other way it's kind of like a weird kind of a pousse except very slow Yeah, that's perfect now. I mean, actually, you could go on. It's like Father Ted, if you remember that episode where he manages to smash the car up. Right. I'm calling that done. Yeah, I'm calling that done. Let's bring this one along. Try not to damage the coil. Uh, let's see what we've got. Okay, so I'm going to take a good old-fashioned adjustable spanner. Actually, let's move that up a little bit for you. Um, yeah, I've taken good old adjustable spanner. And I'm just going to lay that out on the rubber mat. And I'm just going to very carefully just pull that back. In fact, I'll probably go just a little bit more than I need to because it will pull down. That one there's a bit twisted. So there you go. He's all good. And finally, if I can just flip her over to that side. It's a bit of a, let's get that on there. I'm not putting any pressure on the terminals. Let's have a look at that. Yep. Probably just needs a little bit going back that way. Brilliant. So that, I think, is pretty much ready to go back into the into the chassis. I think it's done. Right. Okay. Let's pull those out of the way. Finally, let's try and get him in there like so. Right, okay, so this is all put back together very slightly. I'm just going to pin this end in like so, and then pin one in there as well.
like so. Let's pull those out to one side. Let's get those in the right place. Beautiful. Let's just poke one of these screws up through that base. This is going to be the hardest bit, getting the first two screws in because um, that transformer is very heavy and these screws are a bit iffy. Right, I've left the feet off okay and the idea is that the screws just kind of grip in this rubber mat for a moment just enough for me to start getting some threads on. Should just about do that. Let's get another one in. actually straightened up really nice. Okay, what I'm doing is just holding it up with my finger so it goes down onto the mat. Now this is another one that's quite difficult. So what I'm going to try and do is I'm going to try and go in sort of, blah. didn't work that's okay. It really does help to have thin fingers at this stage. And I haven't been thin for a long time. Right, there you go. That's on there enough. And then the fourth and final one of these, and I'll be glad when these are over. Like so. Just a little point to note. This is a linear power supply, if you don't already know. Um, there is another type of power supply called a switch mode power supply. Um, please do not play around with those if you do not know what you're doing. They are very, very dangerous. Okay. So I'm just going to upper end him. I'm just going to hold the the nuts and screw them together. everyone well, so these Weira screwdrivers you can really get some purchase on them FT and what I'll do is I'll just put those in before it causes more damage. Uh, it's still a bit wavy but it'll do. And that one.
ていきます。Yeah, good stuff. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is going to take a very large screwdriver, and I'm just going to very gently tease those out. Be very careful with aluminium because it will split. It's not a very friendly material at all. And there you go. Right. It's better than. See that? I don't know if you can. Sorry, I'll just move you up a little bit. Where's it going? So you can just see that those now are all straight and they were a bit wonky. Just to make it look a bit better, everything's back in the way that it should be. Sorry about my phone. Um, and that is ready to go down the side there. <clears throat> A mouthful of dust then. <laughs> um, I definitely need to get one of those um, ultrasonic cleaners. That would be an absolute hoot. So if anyone knows where I can get one um, that is a sensible size, that would be nice. Give me a shout. Um, right, so that's ready for the, the main board, I think, just about. And what I'll do is I'll quickly pop these feet back on. Um, Makes a lot of sense. This is absolutely um, it's really, really upsetting when when a, a courier or a Postal worker just takes his frustration out on your package. Um, and I'm sure they're all very hot at the moment and uh, not having a good time, but oh my gosh. I mean, it could have been something very, very valuable. Right, there you go. That's the main chassis ready to receive the fixed motherboard and um, or the main board and uh, unfortunately I'm not going to be able to do anything with that until um, probably sorry let's get that on there I'm not going to be able to do anything with that until probably tomorrow when um, when the super glue arrives so I'm going to uh, have a little look at that so that's it for part two um, so let me know what you think in the uh, in the comments and uh, whether or not you like these sort of videos um yeah it's quite uh, it's quite therapeutic although it's quite warm up here today it's absolutely baking here in the uk um but yeah so anyway there you go that's that see you next time